you sh the, the hallways are common space. Yes, the hallways okay. and our bathrooms are common space. Okay. Um, which can be, you know, yeah. a little tough <laughs> sharing bathrooms with our own landlord. With our room. This is Bobby. This is what we call our recovery room. Uh, yeah, you can tell oh, it's very much filled. Yeah. Yeah. space. Um, this is where we're going to be doing those groups this week. So uh, we're doing our newly housed support group that Bobby is in because Bobby's been housed for what over a year, yeah. just hitting a year. Congratulations! Um, so Thank you. Are you enjoying that? Yeah. Yeah. Is it um, is it in Somerville? No, it's in uh, Arlington. Okay. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> He's a star. Yeah. <laughs> But he still comes down here every day, um, hangs out in the square, and is going to mm -hmm. help support some of the, the folks that are just learning that they're getting housed, that don't really know how to transition, or are kind of nervous about that transition. He's going to teach them that it's all going to be fine. Mm -hmm. Wink, wink, right, Mom? Thank yeah. you. <laughs> um, can I ask you, why do you keep on coming back? Because uh, they got me housed. You know, I wasn't really in a, in a uh, position to uh, be housed, and uh, they, they talked me through everything. Wonderful. And, you know, I, I can talk to anybody. Uh, I know everybody that's in here. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's like my little family. Yeah, it's your family. And the staff here are pretty special, huh? Yeah. 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 <laughs> This, this room right here is our waiting room. So before the engagement center, when people came in, pretty much everybody just sat in that elevator room where you first came in. We didn't have any chairs, people hung out on the ground. Um, sometimes we had people in the stairwell next to the trash barrels because there just was no space. This was our conference room. So the first thing that we did was actually implement a waiting room. Mm -hmm. um, so people get to hang out here pretty much as long as they want. Mm -hmm. um, it's a little warm in here. Typically I turned the AC down. Thank you. Typically <laughs> it's not <laughs> to me. Um, but they get free coffee, access to the microwave, fridge, water. Um, I think one of the things that I enjoy the most about it is I always see people, because we use just the powdered creamer, but I'll see people buy a, a gallon of milk, put it in yeah. there, and then a few days later, somebody else puts a gallon of milk oh. in there, and it's just a very community vibe in here, which is always really nice. nice. And then some people are assigned lockers, mm -hmm. um, so the more people engage with us, hang out with us, um, receive services, um, they can have a locker to store all their belongings. They're really large, oh, wow. which is nice. Yeah, nice um, and deep. And the shelf, oh, little shelf. Top. I love that. Yeah. 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 They get to assign their own codes, so yeah. they access it as they need to. Um, <coughs> and then we just had a few people that had lockers that moved into our shelter, so now they don't need lockers. So we we're just able to give some more people lockers, which is cool. Okay. Yeah. Anything? You love coffee. What you love coffee. <laughs> Star Fox coffee. I I do too. Uh, I love coffee. Um, <laughs> Do you have any? Does this help you? Does this is it? Oh welcome? yeah. Instead of carrying our stuff, we go in. Yeah. So yeah. having the out. the lockers there are really good. Somewhere to put my medication. Mm -hmm. Great. What else do you um, get help for here or access to? Um, they help us get phones. Food stamps. Mm -hmm. Mail here also. Pardon? You mail. Email. It's a big thing. Mail. Oh, mail good point. Yeah. I'm glad to hear that. Glad to hear that. Um, if uh, so, the things that you like are the the mail, the the. The things that you just not, I'm sorry, my, my brain is uh, a little bit uh, it's slow, Monday. Sh this <laughs> slow this morning. Monday. I guess, Monday. so that's really good to hear. Are there other things that we could do to help? Yeah. Um, well, it's just like a you know, first stop. Can I, can I sit down? Because I feel like, sure. you know, I'm 
uh, do a presentation, and I'd rather be uh, in the circle, is that so to speak? Thank you. Hey. Well, this is my first stop in the morning. I look for I, I get my coffee, check the mail, um, <clears throat> and wash up. We have one bathroom, and mm -hmm. it's really tough to get into the bathroom. And, can't be in there too long, you know, like if you want to shave or, you know, sort of what we call a bird bath, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. But, so I know showers that. is a big thing for us, and there's not a lot of places for us to shower around here. And, um, you know, if you had a job interview or whatever, I mean, I appreciate having, coming here and getting the coffee first thing in the morning, because I can't function without my coffee. Okay. But, you know, sometimes, you know, it'd be nice if we had showers here. Okay. It's really important to us. And um, oh, the lockers are great, um, and the phones are great because we're able to make phone calls, contact people, whatever it is. And uh, we don't lose a lot of things because of these lockers. Now, we're able to hold on to a t-shirt or two or things like that. <clears throat> um, but showering is my major issue. I have to. I shower at the at the pool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> at the cool. public pool um, in and Cambridge, no, oh, okay. Cambridge. In Cambridge, okay. And but that doesn't open till eleven thirty. Right. And you know sometimes you have to be someplace before that. So I mean, showers would be a big thing for us. Do you do you all agree that showers? Bathroom. Right, yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. Right. Okay. Stay clean. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and the the update on the. The showers or possibilities uh, on that? Um, so the coalition has a van being built out right now mm -hmm. in um, Vermont that will have two shower stalls in it mm -hmm. um, that will be able to kind of transport around the city of Somerville. Um, we have access to water thanks to the fire department. Our biggest barrier is where to dump the gray water. Mm -hmm. We kind of keep running into roadblocks when it comes to that. Um, and unfortunately we need a place to, to dump it before we can run it. Um, I think that's kind of one aspect and then um, definitely having a permanent location too where they know the showers are going to be every time would be kind of our longer term plan. It's like the van is our short term plan, a stationary shower is also mm -hmm. needed. Great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. is, there, is there anything else that uh, you all think could help make things better for you here? Uh, job. Like I'm looking for a job, I can't find it. If we help you for looking for a job, that will be great. Okay. Yeah. Um, do you, th uh, thank you for that. Do you, um, so what is the network? Do you also work with our city, uh, our economic development, or do you work with other state agencies on? Um, we work a little bit with, is it, Cast, do they have the SEC? SEC, thank you. They have like a, um, a jobs program yes. that we refer yes. people to. Um, and they have we have computers in the back that a lot of people utilize all the time to apply to different jobs. Um, we had somebody do a job interview last week with 7 Eleven um, and like two other companies in that branch. Mm -hmm. um, so kind of trying to provide opportunities to at least have a quiet area to apply for jobs and do mm -hmm. interviews and different things like that. Okay. So the pipeline is um, the supports we also, the city gives to SEC, helps in, in job or training and in resume building? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And do, do, have you had access to that? Do you have a resume? No, not yet. Okay. No. Okay. Let's get you connected with us, you see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. Is there anything else you'd like to to share with me? How about if I asked you this question? If you were mayor, what is one or two things that you would want to make happen? No one wants to be mayor. <laughs> <laughs> they talk so That's much okay. when you're not here. <laughs> <laughs> maybe more shelters, maybe? More shelters? Yeah, maybe more shelters. Get these people off the street. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. uh, more soup kitchens. More soup like kitchens. Like more places oh, to eat. Yeah. Okay. There's yeah. not a lot of meals out here. You know, we go to church meals, but okay. in the morning, um, food's very, really scarce. 
Mm -hmm. uh, you know, people got their bellies full first thing in the morning. Um, it would help out a lot in all, every area, obviously, mm -hmm. breakfast. I'm here because of a terrible scuba diving accident, so this place has helped me. I mean, I, I can never scuba dive again. I was actually living in Mexico, mm -hmm. and I was on the border of Texas, very dangerous area, but I can tell you, Massachusetts has the best resources in the whole country. So, rumor has it, oh, Texas, and I don't care what state you're from, they're all coming. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the high the when I was over there, yeah, mm -hmm. so, you it's know, I'm going to have to yeah. choose another career. I just got out of Mass General, so I can't dive anymore. But yeah. I'm not going to collect this ability because you'll make more work, and the minimum wage is way higher than Texas. It's still $9 an hour over there. Mm -hmm. So I came back. <laughs> Are, are you also looking for a job now, or are you just Oh, yeah, no, I haven't. Actually, I'm going to be doing a driving job at Logan Airport. I get an interview at 3 o'clock today. Oh, so congratulations. I just came back. Okay. So for everybody in here, there's many ways to look for jobs. There's Craigslist, mm -hmm. there's a bunch of stuff out there. Mm -hmm. you know, I'll hire it. Mm -hmm. We have some nice suits in the back if you need a yeah. suit. What's that? We do have some nice suits. Oh, really? Nice. Yeah. Really nice. Yeah. Um, so I think some of the people that, you know, this place is great for the resources, but there's also, you know, like you said, Craigslist, there's, there's uh, manpower, there's like temp agencies that help too. Mm -hmm. you know, they can place you, like, you know, if you do a good job, they hire you after 90 days. Um, how did you hear about this engagement center? I used to run a road race every year so you guys could make money. I never thought I'd be, be here as a client. Never in my life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, never. Okay, yeah. so you knew it. And how did yeah. you hear about this place? Uh, through the shelter. Okay. Through the shelter. And, you know, people trying to help me with, uh, you know, trying to find housing and stuff. And really, the truth is that I'm almost ready to give up because mm -hmm. it is so hard. My daughter, my, my kids are here. My family is all here. But looking at, you know, my daughter's paying $2,600 a month. And there's MIT and Harvard. And, you know, these people make enough money to live here. I and mean, if you've got 10 mm -hmm. years to wait for housing, then that's yeah. one thing. Mm -hmm. Affordable yeah. housing. I'm on disability now. I'm probably going to be for the rest of my life because I, I can't walk anymore. I'm going to get a crushed spine. You know, I, I may not live 10 more years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it's a hard thing, you know. And that, like I said, I've never been homeless before, so it's been very difficult. Mm -hmm. yeah. Coming from the south, it's much cheaper there, but yeah. you got to be used to that. You know? yeah. How did you hear about the engagement center? Well, I was homeless, hanging in Davis Square, and and uh, actually, I had like hospital appointments I could never make, so they they've been helping me with keeping my appointments straight, nice. helping me make connections with Great. therapists. And How did you hear about this place? Just through the outreach workers, you know, okay. telling us about it <coughs> that it's becoming. You know, they, they come out during certain days and you know talk to us and stuff. So we pretty much know who's here, who's coming. Case worker, Mass General Hubbard. Okay. I was in the hyperbaric chamber for like three months. So help me, help me. So we did six hours. I was in the place for three months. Oh, so sorry. Uh, I scuba dive as a novice, so I just yeah. don't even. I did it for you. work. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Now, you know, it's a dangerous job, obviously. Yeah, yeah. I had to make that in my courses. But I walked, I put them on. And he said I would probably never walk, right? I beat it. Right. I'm glad so, you did that. Wow. Back on my feet, and here I am. But that's how I found out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. That's how it's going to how did you hear about it? Oh, my. Google. Uh, yeah. So what did you, what did you Google? Just uh, the name is for homeless. Yeah. It's coming number four in a contact. It's only coming to help you. Okay. You did a good job. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Right. Thank you. No. I, I, uh, the set of circumstances brought me, I mean, my mother was born in some of them. Graduated some while in 1968. And I've always loved some of them. Didn't live here all the time as I got kids and everything, but we never went far. It was Charlestown, Medford, and then Stone, and uh, back in Somerville. And uh, set of circumstances, 
uh, put me in homeless, like in the beginning of February. And uh, it was shocking for me that I'd never been homeless before. And uh, I was desperate. And uh, my four daughters uh, helped me. And they made calls and stuff, and they thought they were told by other people, you gotta go to some of the coalition uh, for homeless because they're the best around. And um, so my daughter said, call these people. And uh, uh, right away, they, uh, I got uh, a lot of help because they, they got me qualified for the uh, Section 8 program for the, hom the homeless here. And uh, we went through that whole thing, and uh, I got the grant for the, for the Section 8. And, um, but at the same time, they were helping me make applications to surrounding communities, public housing. Um, I, of course, I, uh, I sent stuff in for social housing, too, but uh, I eventually was ready to started looking at apartments to, to uh, uh, under the uh, Section 8 program, and all of a sudden, uh, Wellesley sent me a letter and said, well, we have a place for you. And that was the ultimate goal, was that that program only does two years. But the goal was, n n I didn't want to leave some of them, but, uh, but I had a permanent place to live. And um, that's what was, they, they really supported me and uh, uh, made me so, you know, feel so pure and everything. And uh, they helped me so much. And now tomorrow I go sign the lease. Oh, wow. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah. Is is there any question or anything else you you'd like to share with me? Yes. We'd love a community okay. grow in some of them. <laughs> you like a community <laughs> what? Grow. Grills. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah. 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 Stationary grow maybe yeah. over in the what's the yeah. name of that park over there? Seven Hills, Seven Hills yeah. or something. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, actually, I I remember that as a kid. Uh, I'm uh, an immigrant, and I would say that it was very much part of our culture that we would uh, join a lot of other immigrants at a state park, mm -hmm. and <laughs> because they had the stationary grills mm -hmm. and. Uh, we would grill and when the weather was hot we'd sit under the big trees and um, yeah it's uh, to me it brings back really fond memories more memories of mm -hmm. just you know all the kids together yelling and lots of different <laughs> languages speaking oh the kids running around yeah. running with excitement you know loud voices uh, and all that um, that's uh, an interesting yeah. point. Oh, so that definitely. land behind the the T is yes. actually owned by the state. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I don't even yeah. I don't know if we'll look into that a little bit. But that's an interesting yeah. idea because I don't think any of the parks in Somerville have that. Yeah. 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 Rob was racing back from the beach to see you. Oh, hi. Hi, how are you? Good. Hey, Katiana, nice, 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 nice to meet you. Robert Cavino, very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I don't know if I ever met with a man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm honored uh, that, I'm uh, honored. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. to meet you. So I was just chatting with everybody and just asking them to you know, share some thoughts. If, if the group doesn't mind, maybe I'll repeat some of the questions. Is that OK? Sure. So, um, uh, how did you hear about this location? I actually heard it from my brother. My brother um, referred me to him, and I've never left him since. Oh, okay. <laughs> not, not, not left, but you know, I keep in contact with him. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and, and when you say you haven't left here since, is what, uh, does that mm, mean that there's something special about this place? Uh, There's like a little family to me. I come yeah. here, I, it's just, we laugh, we joke. Um, if I'm hungry, I can eat. There's always coffee, and it's just 
it's a good time to get away from the riffraff, like uh, the, the, the negativity and the stuff that, go, that goes on in the world. Just, just like a safe place to go and have, have some fun, have coffee. I get white up on the coffee. <laughs> yeah. You talk, eat a little bit of food. It's yeah. just, I don't know, I love coming here. It's awesome. If there was, uh, uh, if there's something else you'd like to add here or to the community, what, what would it be? Some thoughts or ideas. Um, let's see. All right, so there's two things. A bigger coffee pot. Okay, <laughs> okay that, that's essential. Okay, I heard that loud and clear. Okay, done. And maybe like some type of exercise equipment. So, you know? Like a, a gym space. Yeah, yeah. yeah. for exercising. Yeah. Okay. That'd be good. We've talked about that before, actually, because one thing somebody said to me is, you know, uh, we focus a lot on arts as a therapy, um, mm -hmm. and what we don't realize is that some people, an actual other form of therapy would be exercise. Yeah, I yes. love that. But we never really kind of focus yeah. on that. So we're always like, here, here's a coloring book, color. Oh, I do helpful. do that too. Yes, <laughs> and it's helpful, but um, having like weights around and different yeah. exercise equipment would be helpful yeah. too. You, you know what um, I also think about is that the Council on Aging mm -hmm. has a Friday morning walk with uh, mm -hmm. one of the staff members that organizes it. Yeah. So they're a devoted group. I mean, if somebody yeah. likes to walk, they're a devoted group of, yeah. of uh, walkers that there was some, you know. Yeah. Um, give it a shot. Getting to know one another, yes, broadening exactly. our community, yes. and I think they go yeah. out on um, the walking paths, you mm -hmm. know, the community mm -hmm. paths. I'm, I'm not exactly sure uh, of the exact route, but I, be I believe it is. We do that every day because we can't afford to take the bus. We walk everywhere. Okay. Ten, ten. It's yeah. true. Okay. You carry and all that stuff too. Okay. Lincoln Park has a nice little workout area too. Mm -hmm. You say you just right. Sit. Right. Yeah, it's just a yes. tiny thing, but it has everything you need and all the everything there. Yeah. They okay. did that well. Yeah. yeah. And the sprinklers. I go in there on the way back. Yeah. With all Instead the of walking by myself, I walk with other people. I have yeah. a congregation yeah. instead of by myself. Yeah. 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 Um, if you were mayor, yeah. what is one <laughs> or two things that you would want to see happen or you would do? Um, Let's see. I would put um, more programs, not necessarily detoxes, but I would put more programs for the housing. Like, say, uh, if you go to a program, you know, three days a week, you know, they'll house you for this much. You could save some money and get on your feet that way. Mm -hmm. um, and what was the other question, man? It was just one or two. If oh. you had, you know, or you could say more. I just uh, had I don't want to take your job. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but um, yeah, I would like to see that because I, I find out of a lot of people here, they're waiting, they're waiting. So if you, there was like some type of day program where you went, you know, three hours, four hours out of three days and they'll pay for your, your housing, you know, while you save some money and get to get your own place. I mean, that, that's, that'd be great, you know? Um, do, when the weather is hot, do you by any chance use the pools that are here in Somerville, Foss, or Delvoy? I, I, I never went to the pool actually. Wait, Today was going to be my first day of going there, and uh, they shut it down due to an electrical problem. Oh, which one? I, I, I believe it's in Elwife, Elwife Station. It's right across the street. Okay. I think a lot yeah. of people sometimes go there for each pool too. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
for for sharing, for having a conversation with me. I appreciate As it. mentioned the bus, which I mean, like uh, more free T passes available. I got one through CAS last week, which was great, but the program stopped before she could get one. They were only mm -hmm. giving out 500. It's, I mean, you got to walk everywhere. You can't afford it. It's a buck seventy for the bus, two forty for the train. Mm -hmm. Did you say CAA? Yeah, community. so CAS. Yeah, 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 the one in yeah, the square. Yeah, so um, the city. Yeah, um, it was only five hundred. Their yeah. uh, uh, supported that program. Yeah. There's a lot of people at the shelter that signed up for it, but it ran out first, and they don't know where to get. Any, okay. Yeah, and so everybody walked. So I'll borrow a bus pass. Okay. It's a real problem. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, you want to so see the rest of the place? Yeah. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. Yeah. Really appreciate thank you. you. Uh, Very nice meeting. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm going to go around. I'm going to say thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. I'm glad you're on a regular break. Thank you so much. After 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 getting some friends that knew different resources, uh, I ended up finding my way here. Yeah, there's seven right Next thing you know, we didn't even. Well, I'm new too, so that's special. Thank you. Yeah. Very nice to meet you, uh, Jack. Yeah. Uh, and so far, I would definitely say that this that this town's doing pretty well under under your supervision. Thank <laughs> you. We're going to have that that conversation, and one conversation leads to some other conversation or information, and which might be resources, and then it just keeps on going on. Yeah. I mean, a big part of it is the people that work here, too, like, they're, like, great, you know, it's just uh, hard enough to, to find, you know, figure out where you're going to sleep that night or, you know, what you're going to eat, if you're going to eat, you know, it's it's great that they're here and they just, like, genuinely mean, like, they want to help, it's not like they're just in it for the paycheck, they're definitely, like, you know, they definitely love what they do and, you know, and, and, and they're great people to be around, you know, uh, I, I come here every single day, you know, even if it's just to drop by and say hello and grab a cup of coffee, you know, um, you know, it's it's a it's a it's a great place to come and like you know sit down and also if you know you need things done like you know they'll help you get your ID, they'll do things for you like uh, that's that becomes really a lot more difficult when you don't have a you know when when you're homeless it's just the things for some reason they just a lot harder you know. Um, to do normal tasks, you know, uh, normal daily tasks become a little more difficult. To, um, yeah, so they're there to like kind of guide you in the right direction and help you with housing and help you with things that that become difficult and tasks that you know almost to seem impossible. Yeah. They, they kind of put you on the right path, the right direction. You know, so. And how did you hear about the Somerville Homeless Coalition? Um, word of mouth, uh, you know, just. Being in that circuit, you know, and uh, knowing other people that are struggling with homelessness, and uh, you know, point I got pointed in the direction, this direction by them. Um, mm -hmm. You know, and I'm glad that I was. I wish that I was sooner because I've been, you know, uh, my wife and I both struggle with homelessness for years, off and on now, and uh, I wish that I would have known about this place sooner. You know, so yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Thank you for sharing. Um, these laptops are completely for client use, which is nice. They have the phone there they can use. Um, Excuse my back as I just <laughs> worry. <laughs> it's a tight space. You know, anywhere. Um, so this is what I was saying. Like We had a client um, that needed to do a job interview, so we just moved the laptop into an office that we need the privacy. Um, yeah, and then those cabinets are all our snacks and supplies that clients have complete access to. It's yeah. Cool oh. Wow. We stocked it up. Nice. The yeah. reveal. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it won't be like that long. No. <laughs> Once no. everybody knows. The, that's why we had to add this, the sign that says, just take what you need, mm -hmm. please. And then we have all of our like hygiene supplies, nice. um, which is super, great. Super, super nice. Yeah. Has, um, has there been a shift in... I don't know, um, any of the dynamics that go on in Davis Square. I would think Larissa and Hannah can... I can see like, more and more people now 
I think yeah. you've been getting really famous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I so like sometimes we go, we go out reach and like, oh, I'm from the summer when all the school. Oh, I heard that you guys help so and so. I'm like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was us. So I think we see more and more people every day, like new people that we haven't seen before in the square. Mm -hmm. um, there's a, also like a methadone clinic mm -hmm. in Avis Square, so a lot of people are coming uh, to get those and like finding out about our services. So I think, yeah. I think in general we're just seeing bits of increases in yeah. homelessness in terms of here East Somerville with, um, you know, East Somerville is definitely a different population than this side of town and um, it, for people that are undocumented it was a lot easier for them to get evicted when the eviction moratorium mm -hmm. lifted so we see increases there and mm -hmm. This side of town definitely tends to be a little bit more IV drug users, and the red line is a perfect mode of transportation for that. Um, mm -hmm. We're between Alewife and Central Square. It's a good place to stop, and when our services are as good as they are, <laughs> stop and hang out with us for a little bit. <laughs> um, and yeah, so I think we've, we've seen a little bit of an increase. Um, but I also think um, we're, we're doing really good work, you know. Um, when the outreach team goes out, we hear clients like, oh, I hear you're the people that get help get clients' cases dismissed so they can get housed, or I hear you're the people mm -hmm. that get us IDs and, and different things like that. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's nice, you know, to be people actually making a difference. And is there a possibility of, uh, or uh, do you see some connection that comes from the east over here? Do they? Mm -hmm. Well, we actually, we have... I think one of the, of course, one of the biggest barriers is like the language. I speak Portuguese, mm -hmm. but there are a lot of people there that speak Spanish. So I think we, we try our best to communicate with clients. Uh, I remember in the warming center, I'm like, I've never seen you guys speaking Spanish so much. Like Hannah and Alisa, <laughs> they all, I didn't know you guys speak Spanish. <laughs> so I think uh, that's one thing. Like I, our clients feel like really welcome, like seeing like how much we try. Um, and we have people from the like the east like staying at our shelter right now. Uh, clients that you know, one of the clients that I can think about, he got evicted during COVID, and like it was hard just to you know find a new place to live. So he ended up staying in the South Pios, and now he is he's staying at our shelter. Um, it's hard because a lot of them work during the day, the day. so when we yeah. go there, uh, yeah. it's not. It's not every day that we're gonna see people there, so we're still trying to figure it out, like what time of days, you know, which days we're gonna see more people there. Uh, we usually try to go on Fridays and like either like you know like like That's mid afternoon, like to see if we can find clients. Summertime is, I think we see it more because the pool is open. So yeah. if we can find them, like. Uh, in the South Pios, we can find them in the pool, like just yep. remain, at yep. least like to get water or, you know, like mm -hmm. uh, some snacks, like make sure they're hydrated. But I think the biggest thing is like the language, you know, mm -hmm. and like, the, I think also the lack of information, mm -hmm. like one of those days we were there and like the guy needed to see a doctor and needed his medication and he was like, but I can't, like I don't have a social security number, I cannot have like a mass health. Like, no, like that's not true. Like that's yes, yes, not true. true. So a couple of things occur to me. I um, so I know a number of laborers who are looking for day jobs hang out at on Broadway and McGrath mm -hmm. on the Foss Park side or on the Dunkin' Donuts side. Have you noticed? So. Um, that's the population that you were talking about. They, they, they get a job during the day. Maybe not all of them, but they, they get some work, and then uh, the best time to reach them for services would be after 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock, right? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Have you, uh, have you noticed more people um, hanging out, looking for work? So I guess my question is related uh, if they are... Uh, undocumented, is there more migrants coming up uh, there, you know, that maybe increases, uh, you know, them hanging out there? Just trying to, you know, make sure we include everybody as yeah. we think I think about some it. of it, like one of 
we try we've been like trying to uh, partner with another agency to go after hours, not like you know between nine and five, because we know that you know they're there right. later in the day. So we're trying to find a way that we can stay a little bit longer and like go there. Even I think we have a good. You know, like when they see us, they know us. Like yeah. if you're like just like out in the summer view, like they're like, "Hey, how are you?" Great. I think the biggest problem with that population, like the reason I we keep seeing like this, a lot of times the same people is <coughs> the lack of like housing for you know people that don't have a social security. We try to fill those gaps, but it's still like there is, there is yeah. not. You know, so yeah. it's harder. Um, another thing too is. For our clients that are like born here, it's so hard to get an ID, like impossible. For clients that come from another country that we can get a birth certificate from them. We They don't know where their passport, they've been here yeah. for like 20 years, but they don't have their passport anymore. I think that's the biggest thing for us to try and figure out how we can get those vital documents and make sure that people are mm -hmm. housed, you know, if there is, uh, you know, an opportunity for them. I think that's, I don't know, the, 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 my biggest like concern. I try to figure it out. Mm -hmm. One thing I'd say too is we certainly have seen the migrant influx more mm -hmm. so though at Project Soup at the food pantry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and a lot of the pattern has been that people are coming and they know somebody. Yeah. So they have people to stay with temporarily. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I do think over time we're going to see that grow the homeless population in East Somerville because typically they can stay for a few weeks or a few months. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know if it's necessarily directly to the streets, but there certainly has been an influx. Um, just a lot of, you know, doubling up and, you know, six households in a two-bedroom apartment, that type mm -hmm. of thing. Okay. The work you do, I mean, uh, it's the feeling. It's the warmth. You walk into this space yeah. and everybody feels it, you know? And uh, uh, thank you. Uh, just thank you for, for doing that work. Thank you for, you know, um, pushing uh, the idea for Engagement Center. I'd love to be able to, to do more. This is a, a big step yeah, for us. We're trying to fill in some major gaps yeah. that are happening uh, now. So, um, you know, I, certainly the city of Somerville considers you a partner. I consider you. you all a, uh, a partner. Uh, and yeah, it's just, uh, uh, I thank you for the, the work you do. I thank you for working with us on trying to, to fill this gap and being a friend and a neighbor. Yeah to those who are most impacted. Well, thank you so much. It's, it's been a dream of ours for a very long yes. time. Karen has been amazing, Nikki, uh, Kelly, other mm -hmm. staff and whatnot. Um, we love it here. My staff is absolutely amazing. And like you said, it's the feeling. Yeah. That's the that's the foundation. I feel it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it. Or just being around you at all times, you know, I... Uh, I feel it. You've heard me say this a number there of times. One, one thing that I think is funny, actually, Joey, one day we were, it was a holiday, he was like, I didn't know you guys would be closed, and I didn't know you guys, you guys are actually my friends, because I came here, you guys were not here, I didn't have anything else to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, friends. Yeah. And, you know, we, we want to do more, too. You've heard, you know, laundry and showers. Yeah. And, I, th it was new to me having a, a weight room. <laughs> That's a new one. I need another, another room for that. But um, I look forward to partnering with you to for the future because, you know, while this place is amazing, it can be so much more. And as yeah. you've heard, people people talk. Yeah. So they're coming. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and we're gonna we're gonna need more room and more services. And really excited. Okay. Thank you. So do you want to do that? Yeah. I want to th yeah. thank my team also, you know, and your staff and, you know, just come, come on, on in. Come on in. Behind, behind yeah. it. Yeah. Come, come on in. in. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Yeah. 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 Diana, you want to come in? Leo, Darcy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Everybody. <laughs> we can do it all. Come on, everybody. We should have been the other way so we could have gotten up with security cameras. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, it's all right. It's for you. There you are.
Well, I was going to say, yeah, 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 those are scary. Does someone want to cut it with me? Yeah. Joey does. You want to do it? Okay, so do you want the top and on the bottom, or we just do it like this? Okay. All right, you tell them. Who wants to do the countdown? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do this very often. Three, two, one. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Can I get uh, just a photo? Jeez. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this is for you. A thank you from all of us. Thank you.